Mom with the LT engine, I'm, well, I've pretty much decided um, after looking through all the bits that need doing, um, she's been a good runner for pretty much 10 years now, I think we've had her, and uh, other than general service items, not needed anything. So I figured what I was going to do, um, the valve stem seals need doing, um, which means basically taking the head off to get the valve springs off. Um, the rocker cover gasket has gone on the back side here um, and then the sump gasket so rather than faffing about underneath um, and obviously when I've taken the head off anyway I figured I might as well pull the engine out and then I thought by the time I've taken the sump off and everything I don't want to be putting it back on say if anything happens in the future um, so I figured I'd redo all the main bearings and uh, just so one of the oil leaks out of the three, uh, one being the other side of the rocker cover, um, then down by the sump, and then I've seen this once or twice before where the oil pressure switch has actually, there's oil started coming out the top of it. So basically it's, it's broken on the oil pressure switch, but it's still actually working because there's no uh, warning lights come on or anything. Um, but yeah, basically it's leaking down there, so it's then going on to the, the sump gasket but also the other side of the sump gasket is leaking um, so that's what I've done is basically taken the water pipes off and taken them out of the way so they're not in the way of the engine when I lift it out uh, disconnected the glow plug wires uh, disconnected all the fuel lines um, header tank off then I've pulled the wires back from the header tank um, or the pipe pipes next to it uh, they're just for like the temperature sensors then the next thing is the clutch cable or and i've taken the throttle cable off as well and um, clutch cable off next and then pretty much prop shaft undo the bolts around the bell housing take the gearbox off um, then pretty much the mountings and rest of that pipe work to do and then she should be pretty much ready to lift out it's just a 13 mil bolts uh, three of them around the uh, fan shroud here so then that basically if i undo that and then take the metal section that ba basically cones the air in after the radiator um, take that off then I can drop the radiator down and it just gives me that much more space as well to uh, pull the engine forward and then lift it out I've undone the three bolts around the fan shroud so that's off now so next thing is there's uh, what is a uh, two four six eight about ten uh, little well four being uh, eight mils and the rest being uh, ten mil little bolts into the radiator that holds the actual uh, cone as such that directs the air into this shroud here so I undo that and that splits in half so I take the bottom half out then I can get the plastic shroud off then I can get the top half off then I can drop the radiator off and then I can uh, just undo the wiring underneath for the starter motor um, undo the bell housing bolts around the gearbox take the gearbox off uh, once I've taken the prop shaft off as well um, then it should be ready just to whip out as easy as that just yeah go swimmingly um, so tune in next time for some more swearing and hurt fingers and stuff like that And as you can see, uh, we've got all the lighting facilities, and I picked the perfect time to be doing it, just as it's going dusk, uh, into the night, the freezing cold night. So, yeah, stick with me and you'll go far. And that's the shroud off. So I dropped the... Uh, section down uh, 
just before I've taken that off. Um, next thing I've got to take the power steering pump off because I'm going to, rather than unpiping it and emptying all the reservoir and everything, because I did actually just reflush not so long ago all the oil um, or fluid, I'm going to basically just pull it off and put it to the side. Um, hopefully I can lift it out without it being too much in the way. Um, the rest can, the alternator and everything I can think can stay on. Um, so radiator out next, now I've got that out of the way because that can just basically unbolt the bottom support and then it just sort of slides that straight rather than being on an angle like that. Slides straight and drops out. Um, yeah, and then we're not that far off once the gearbox is unbolted. I've just unbolted the prop shaft now. So there's six bolts onto the diff. Um, and then pretty much just two for the carrier bearing here. And then it will just slide out and off. There we go. So then next thing is to drop the gearbox. But I'll have to prop the engine at the bottom just while I take the gearbox off and then when I lift it out because well the rear end uh, engine mounting effectively is on the back of the gearbox so but if I take it off it'll just half end well half of the engine will just flop down one way um, yeah but it's nice and cold on the floor and I'm enjoying it oh and there's exhaust to unbolt as well so, yes, right, carry on. On video two, I'm going to take the exhaust off, I'm going to take the radiator off, and then unbolt the gearbox and get pretty much ready to lift out, um, if not lifted out. Uh, so, yeah, please subscribe to my YouTube and see how it goes.